All right, guys, we're back with Primrose Puppy School. Molly gets the puppies. Oh, that's her growling over there. Anyway, you can see what I've done. I'm so proud of this little tent. I want you to expect it to collapse at any minute, though. And I did find the missing piece. Remember, I said I got it together, but one piece was missing. Briggy found it somehow. It was there. So what I'm saying to myself is I do have that ability. Th this is what I'm saying to myself. And the same thing I'm saying with the older dogs. I've got to paint a big picture. It's... I don't know how much more can, you can ram that down people's throat. If you don't say to this dog, move in my direction from a distance away and start doing that from farther and farther distances, it's it's going to get away from you and then it doesn't really see you as a part of that because you're not a handler in that arena. Uh, does that make sense? I hope you're writing this down, Chelsea. I'm, I'm just beyond, I mean. Hello, man. Anyway, so, I, you know, I understand this is the vibrational, and I understand getting them to this secondary location is a good thing. Here we go! And, you know, if you said, well, how could you make them go slower? Oh, start saying sit when they get here. Uh, that's, you know, there are certain rules to a recall, and... If, if you're combining it with stay, you're shooting yourself in the foot because you're saying a recall is stay and then come over here. You're not saying boogity, boogity, boogity uh, in any way. There's no boogity, 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 you know, unless you're Fritz Beeler. Oh, you little adorable little monkeys. Anyway, I got to go over on Diamond Bar in a minute, but... You're just giving them the treats because they want it. And if you said, no, 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 most, most people aren't gonna say sit. Yes, they are, I don't understand why. It's gotta be some hardwired thing. If you said, well, it's a hardwired thing because cavemen, that was their response to any animals coming near them. Stop, sit, oh, they're like, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> That's why they can't stop doing it. Anyway, and I'm thinking, you know, I was thinking about my little clear little thing to put stuff in. I'm understanding why that would be good too, because then you could put different objects in there and they would have a better understanding of what it was rather than just throwing random objects. You've got to start right away. You, you don't want to just, you know, Alice, I don't know if you're there, but I don't like that girl at all. That is way too aggressive. I mean, I've never seen anything like that. There's no methodology of a trained retrieve. You got a handler sitting on the ground. And then when the dog doesn't do it, snatching it with the prong. I mean, there, there's no methodology like that written down. <laughs> if it's written down somewhere, show me. I think you've got to have a seated handler. I mean, if you're training service dogs, you better start right out with a seated handler. You know, I, I think your handler isn't going to be sitting on the ground. Courtney will tell you. Anyway, I, was, I, I hope you're there, Courtney. I hope it's early and you don't have to go to work yet. Anyway, that's what I'm thinking. I've got the ability to make a move in my direction unencumbered. I'm already setting that up. And then I got, let some of them fall asleep. In the afternoon, I can just, if one of them's awake. Oh, Molly, she's just awful. Oh, she's absolutely awful. Oh. You see what happened though? It resulted in puppies that already go on the platform. So if you said, no, 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 or is wait till they get older, I'd say, okay, well, you'll have to contact some of these other people. Anyway, watch, they'll go up that little ramp. That's the crazy part. They're not inhibited. It's just a good puppy obstacle. So I just added today these sunglasses. But yeah, I really like this thing as far as, yeah, see, look at that. He's right on that little, you know, if you said, well, no, it'd be better to wait until he gets older and get treats and try to lure him up there like that one girl always did. <laughs> 
and then when they don't go, just have the video end with, oh, they didn't want to do it. <laughs> oh, yo, yo. All right, so I've got my objects. Again, I'm moving very delicately. I'm not, you know. Hey, Pappy. I understand how unevolved some people are, and I understand they'll never be that evolved. I'll always be the type that says, oh, I love horses. I want to go up and pet people's horses. <laughs> Get away, lady. Oh, I said, Molly, uh-uh, no, no, you're going to have to go. No, you're not, you're not going to ruin the training. Let's go. Molly, that's it. You're out of here. Look at him going down the ramp. I just, I don't know. I don't know why they go down that ramp like that. I will tell you, you know, when I had Bo and Truffles when they were puppies, they would cross over these storm drains, which are, you know, a couple feet wide at least, at least, maybe three. And it's a drop down of the, you know, three or four feet at least. But I, you know, I was always surprised then they weren't phased by that. Now look what I've got. A couple little pupils ready to go to school. Oh, you little monkey. So that's the other little thing I just put in there, that roll of tape. And I don't, you know, if you ask me what I thought is the most important, getting the, initially getting the behavior or initially getting it to pick up a bunch of different objects, clearly just getting the behavior, you know? That's why I invented the scrunch bell. And you saw that bulldog yesterday, Mike. I don't know if you saw it, but it, it ran on its own. Uh, when I had the basket still sitting over there, my foolish plan to always set the basket over there and got the big dumbbell on its own. So, you know, I don't think that would have resulted if I would have, you know, said no, snatched it, and then said pick it up. I, I don't think it would have resulted in that default. Oh, the little one. But I think if we said, you know, that's our second subtask, it's just... I understand where they would start to see anything you put in there would be. I can't see it. Oh, you little monkey. Yeah, I think you have to have that. I think if you went initially for the just pick it up off the ground, I think as quick as possible, you're only helping yourself. You know, that's what you've got to say. Uh, let's see, she'll do the glasses. Oh, you little monkey. It's all about the Primrose Puppy School. Melissa that's getting one of the puppies wants it to go 24-7. She's like, yay! All right, look, so, you know, they're already looking in there. I think you would just have to say if you're, you know, whether that would be another subtask, but it's looking. He already fixed it. <laughs> he already does it. So does this little one. But you can see the level of consciousness this little one has. It has never been insulted by having its head rubbed as a reward. This dog would say to us, are you freaking kidding me? That's all you got? This is what they say to themselves. That's all you got? I'll go find somebody else. <laughs> That's all you got? Oh, uh, this one does it too. Watch. He said, that, what's that? That's my background noise. I understand them barking and angry barking in the background is a good background. No, that's their normal behavior. That's what they normal. That's their normal. I think what you'd have to say to yourself, and you need to write this down too, Chelsea, once we start adding distance, and we better be do we better be, you know, 
you're thinking about training a puppy. I mean, if you look at like Kanga and Pre that I trained for a year, they're very bendy. They're very bendy. Nachos too. He's not as bendy. He's more has levity. But Bump, they're all very bendy. I mean, you know, I bend them a lot. And if you said, well, I don't bend my dog at all, that's going to be a problem. You know what I mean? If you said, when, it's gonna be, when is it going to be a problem? Well, when it starts moving away from you quickly and you never practice bending it back in your direction, then. Oh, you little monkey. She just already just organically just picks up useless sticks. Anyway, I'm waiting for them to all go in the tent. Okay. All right. Oh, it's definitely not an accident. You know, and I think you could maybe start doing it where you just sort of, you know, one, two. It's not as easy as you think to hold and do all these things. Come on, get over yourself, lady. It's not rocket science. Oh, she already, I can see I can't set it anywhere. She's already seeing it. Can't set it anywhere. It's very difficult to hold on to it. All right, so I'm already bending it back in my direction. All right, so she goes back that way, and that's what I'm thinking. I'm going to bend her back in my direction when she gets it. With, you know, if you said with what, with my voice. You little monkey. Bending. You know, I think what's going to happen is this, this is going to give you a secondary location, too. simple. It's that simple. you got to be thinking of that, though, because I think you always need to be thinking. Honestly, if you're going to do advanced work, you always, and Mark will tell you this, you've always got to be thinking about this dog's going to be far away from me. That's why your head pads aren't going to work. Oh, did you crush Mama's hair? Uh, you know, as a methodology, because uh, it's going to be hard to throw your hand all the way out there. Oh, no. All right, let's see what happens. And then I gotta go to Diamond Bar. Let me see if this is the, the male here. No, that's, that's Bug. All right, so now they're already facing me. You don't have to worry so much about the bending if they're already facing you. Maybe you should start out that way. <laughs> nope, you gotta deliver all the way to hand. You gotta deliver all the way to hand. I think you would have to, on some level, she's like, okay, there's a limit price. That was mama's fault for not getting it fast enough. So I didn't have the treat right in my hand, but I faked it by letting him chew on my finger. All right, guys, I gotta run over to Diamond Bar real quick, but I think you can see. You know, and I think it wouldn't be that hard, even at this point, to put this thing over there, and they're gonna go over there. You could practice. Bending them back from there. Here she is, Mr. Magoo. You just got to be so deliberate about your actions. You know, if, if it is true, as they say on the internet, it's all in how you raise them. Well, let's get a real good formula down. You know, let's not have this random formula that everybody seems to have. We're head petting in love. And I'm not being mean, but you heard Connie. That dog growled at her, and I, you know, I said that's because he had to let you know you were getting out of line. Make Kelly play them out. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, no, that that'll be the next gimmick. Yeah, I'll write your own storyline. Shoe Bottom meets Elliot meets God only knows what. Luke, look how they crawl on that that little grate, though. I find that very interesting. Very very interesting. And again, I only, yeah, look at him. I hope all you Malinois people are setting this up at your house. Uh, yeah, and they're even gravitating towards it. You know, what you want to say to yourself is you are creating a storyline for them and what your storyline needs to be. Uh, every, we've rehearsed everything. You've seen this story before. You know what your character does in this episode. Yeah, they even seem to like going on that thing. 
I know, it's beyond cute. All right, listen, you guys, I'm running over to Diamond Bar, and that's going to be called uh, an episode called We Get in the Wagon and Go on a Camping Trip. <laughs> Chelsea's like, what? Okay, I got to uh, look at how cute, though. But again, that's, you know, if you said the methodology that these people are doing is waiting and pulling them up there with a long line in an effing house. Who has a leash on in a house? Oh, my God. If you don't even have the skill to keep a dog with you in a house with an electronic collar on, you're awful. I, I don't even know what else to say. Chelsea's <laughs> like, yay, for sure. I think about it. Look at that puppy over there. All right, guys, I've got to run to Diamond Bar, so come over there, and I'll try. Yeah, oh, a long line. Yeah. Oh, do you have to keep a long line on with them all the time? Uh-huh. At the end, still has the line on. Oh, but this line's shorter. Oh, okay, got it, got it. Ah! All right, go to Diamond Bar, you guys.